YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I turned this into this. If you guys want a quick and easy way to go step up your edits, I highly recommend checking out our editing packs and presets linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's hop right into this video. Alright guys, so we are in After Effects here. We have this clip pulled up from the Yeet Poppin' music video. First things first, you want to go ahead and you want to rotoscope your subject. I already have that done here. If you guys don't know how to rotoscope, I have a tutorial linked on that in the description below. Once you guys have Yeet rotoscoped out, you want to go and make sure you have the regular clip right below it. You want to duplicate the regular one so you have a rotoscope clip and then two regular clips. Now on this middle clip here, you guys want to go and you guys want to add a luma key onto it drag and drop that on there once you have the luma key on i disable the other ones just so it's the clip here and then you guys want to drag up the threshold you guys want to make sure you guys just kind of get the color of the cars i'm going to go with that there i don't want to get the ground as much and then i recommend going over to edge feather and blurring those just like that all right now next you guys want to turn on the bottom clip so you have that on top i highly recommend deep glow on this if you guys don't have deep glow sapphire or unique glow will work as well i'm going to drag and drop that on there so as you guys can see it's on top going into the deep glow settings and then unmalting just so it's on on top of the cars there next effect you guys want to add on top of this distort chroma that's the one i like i can drop that on and as you can see it goes kind of crazy right now so i recommend turning on the rotoscope of yeet all right now once that is on see the amount here in the distort chroma i'm going to put that at zero at the beginning keyframe it and then go to the very end of the clip and bring it up like so just like that i'm also going to go to the very beginning and keyframe rotate warp direction and then the red and the blue go to the very end the warp direction i'm just going to move around till i get it to how i like at the end here kind of like that and then the red i'm going to have it go back backwards and the blue go forwards just like so and then we'll play that through for you guys all right the next thing i'm gonna add to this is i'm gonna go in and add a heat wave drag and drop that on there onto the middle clip and then i'm gonna turn the blur amount all the way up and then go to the beginning and we are going to turn the heat intensity at 30 and then the flow speed at 30 as well and then to spice the effect up even more go and add color balance hls i'm going to keyframe at the very beginning the hue go to the very end and then just drag the hue and go wild And very last but not least, to add a lot more movement, go and create a new adjustment layer. Add a transform layer to it. Turn the shutter angle all the way up to 360. Keyframe scale and position. Go to the very end. And then I recommend going, turning up the scale on Yeet, just like so. I like that zoom in there. Here is the before. And here's the after with all the effects. I don't know, it just adds a really cool, trippy magic effect to the clip. I make these tutorials to show you guys a cool effect, and then you guys can take it and turn it into your own, which I recommend you guys do. If you guys like this tutorial, I recommend checking out our last tutorial, as well as a playlist of a bunch of other tutorials on our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.